92.5. Second date update. In the dating world, they say, when you know, you just know. Mm, yeah. In the bathroom world, they say, when you gotta go, you gotta go. <laughs> okay, also true. Yeah. And in the Christmas world, they say, let it snow, let it snow, let Yay, it snow. I love that one. Are world. we gonna rhyme the entire segment or I, I'm just saying there's lots of great <laughs> sayings out there. Okay. About knowing and going and snowing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Flowing. Are Flowing. Flow? Sure. I'm sure know. there's something about growing. Yeah. Frozen, let it going. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> but one of our listeners, Johnny's on the phone with us because he said he had one of those feelings during his date where he just knew something was special about the woman he was with. Oh, I love these. Nice. That's why he contacted us. What's up, Johnny? Thanks for having me, you guys. I really appreciate it. Yeah. So I love these romantic stories, but there's also, it makes me so nervous because there's so much on the line. Mm-hmm. Like with normal second daters, they're like, yeah, we went out once. They're not calling me back. You know, you yeah. don't lose a whole lot. I but Johnny, it sounds like you're already invested. Yeah, I just felt this strong connection. Her name's Maya, by the way. We met on a dating app. We didn't ask for her name. Yeah. Do not give <laughs> us her name. We, we like nameless people. Play by our rules. <laughs> so sorry. Her name's Maya. That's cool. Yeah, we met on one of the dating apps. And then like instantly, she just had such a unique look. This is something that I really like. She didn't have perfect teeth. And I really like that. Like Okay. You like crooked yeah. teeth. Yeah, exactly. Man, you should go to England sometime, man. You would love it over there. I mean, it just shows to me that, like, she's not rich. She didn't have, like, dental work done. She's not too full of herself. She's not bougie, you know? I right. Kinda, like, okay. And she's not caught up in, like, aesthetics or, you know, whatever. Yeah, or she doesn't have a dental plan. Yeah, that so, too. Who knows? Or she likes her teeth. Yeah. Could be that simple. So what did you and Maya do for your date? So it was supposed to be just, like, a quick coffee date, you know? Mm-hmm. But. It went so well. We just bonded. We kept talking about how our parents used to take us to baseball games. And it might have even been that we were at a couple of the same games and just never even knew it. Oh, that's cute. uh, Yeah, it was really, I don't know, I really liked it. And we ended up hanging out even more then. Like afterwards, I was like, do you want to just kind of go to the park? So we went to the park. We rented uh, tandem bikes. And she was like, yeah, she was like really into it. I mean... Tandem bikes always sound like they're a romantic idea, but I yeah. don't know if they're actually romantic in practice because oh. I think about riding a bike and sweating and Dude, heavy breathing. I think it's cute, but like two minutes in, I'd be like, okay, this is a bad idea. Yeah. <laughs> was, Wait, it, no. was it romantic, Johnny? I think the idea of it was more romantic. Like I had fun because I was with her. But to be honest, like now that you say it, like I was sitting in the back and she was in the front. Okay, good call. Why is that a good call? Dude, you don't want the girl sitting behind you. One, you can't see around a dude very well, right? Because you guys are taller typically. And, and two, exactly. <laughs> like you just, She's you don't know, in. like if you uh, have like crack sweat or something, okay. like you just don't need to be concentrating on that for the entire time. Dude, I never thought of that. She's I mean, your pants are hanging point. down too low. Maybe your like little hairy crack is hanging out. Uh, I don't know. There's just a lot of variables there. And it's f- smart to put the girl in front. I have a what? feeling that you have some experience with this. I mean, book. I've, just, I've thought this out. Okay. I have. So okay, so how how did it go on the tandem bike? So we were pedaling around the park and this group of teenagers were there and they started kind of making fun of our tandem bike. <laughs> um, and <laughs> what do you say at someone that's like mean about a tandem bike? Haha, ha, you found love. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of insults could you possibly throw? Losers. <laughs> I think they're just unhappy people in their own lives. Yeah. You know? mm, yeah. uh, but when we circled around then, we ran into them again. And I kind of felt like I have to defend her honor. I can't let them like call her a loser or anything like that or us. I threw a stick at one of them. What? <laughs> you threw a stick at the teenagers? Just to scare them, not to injure them. Nobody was injured. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I would have gone with just ignoring them because they're teenagers, but <laughs> I, I'm sure they'll never call it anybody on a tandem bike again yeah. after that stick incident. <laughs> That'll get them. <laughs> Scare them to the core. Yeah. So how did this date end? So basically, we just rode around for a little bit more, called it a day, but we kept in touch via text. Like, I really felt a strong connection. And then she said she was going to go out of town for a few days to be with her folks. Okay. But now it's been two weeks and I haven't heard anything back. I'm almost wondering, did I scare her away when I threw the stick more than the kids? It's I possible. could be. I mean, either that or, I mean, it could be just as simple as she didn't feel as strongly as you did. You know, sometimes people have a hard time judging that when they're overly interested. Right. Was there like a kiss or a hug at the end of the date? There was a hug and a kiss on the cheek. 
That's you know? sweet. That's always a yeah. good sign. Yeah, and it was a day date. You know, it's kind of weird to go in for a full makeout session yeah. on a day date. Especially after a bike ride. And- yeah. <laughs> Speak for yourself, bro. Okay. <laughs> Parks make you excited, <laughs> apparently. Yeah, <laughs> you that's do why, not. <laughs> that's why he's not allowed on them anymore. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, all right. Well, here's what we're gonna do for you, Johnny. We're gonna play a song. We'll come back and we'll call Maya and we'll try and get you your second date update. Okay? Sounds great. All right. Hold on. All right. If you're just tuning in for the second date update, we're on the phone with a guy named Johnny, and Johnny sounds like your all-American guy. Yeah, for sure. I mean, he loves baseball. Mm-hmm. He loves tandem bikes <laughs> he loves throwing sticks at rowdy teens in uh, public parks oh, come on! <laughs> but most of all johnny likes a woman named maya who he met online and had an instant connection with and he wants to know why she's not calling him back and johnny have you considered that maybe she met a guy with a bigger bike <laughs> Or, Jeffrey, it's not the size of the bike, okay? It's uh, how you drive it. Okay, maybe yeah. with a, maybe guy with a bigger stick then. Okay. <laughs> we had a tandem bike. That's a pretty big bike. Oh, he yeah. doesn't get it. <laughs> That's a good point, Johnny. Okay. Real good point. And try fitting that bike into her trunk. Yeah. <laughs> But, uh, <laughs> Johnny, you know, I am rooting for you in this. I just want to let you know. I really hope that you get another date with this girl. And I hope that it just comes to the fact where she said that she was going to visit her parents and maybe she extended her stay for two weeks and that's why she hasn't called you. Like, I haven't felt this way about anybody in a long time. So hopefully oh. that's the case. I mean, we're going to try and get you back on that tandem bike. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Okay. All right. Hopefully you're not by yourself. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That'd be sad. Yeah. Okay, here we go. I'm down the number. Hello? Hi, can I speak to Maya, please? Hi, yes, uh, speaking. Hi, Maya. My name is Jeffrey from the radio show Brooke and Jeffrey in the Morning. I'm hoping you have a second to talk with us. Okay. We're doing something called a second date update. It's a segment we do on our show where if you go out on a date with somebody and afterwards, if they're not calling you back, you can email us and we'll reach out to that person for you to try and figure out the reason why. Yeah. Okay. So you're calling me then? Yes. That's how this works. (laughs) And I'm calling you about a guy that you recently went out with. His name's Johnny. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm trying to read your emotions, and I'm having a hard time here. What did you think about Johnny? Um, I don't know. It was fine. Mm. Hmm. Mm. Yeah, because Johnny told us about your date a little bit, because he mentioned you guys got coffee together, and it went so well, according to him, that you went to a park and rode some tandem bikes, and Mm -hmm. was that fun? Yeah, I mean, the coffee was nice. Um, He told you a lot, huh? Yeah, I mean, he had a lot of kind things to say about you. He okay. really thinks that you're a really special person. That's nice. I don't... <laughs> <laughs> this is just weird for me that he told you about our date. I yeah, understand. It's, it's a weird situation, especially yeah. on the radio. We get that. I mean, he didn't share anything too personal. I mean, he just really wants to understand why you guys haven't gone out again. I mean, was there an incident that happened or... Did he say something kind of weird or off-putting? I don't know if he told you that the whole thing with the teenagers, like there were these kids that were kind of giving us a bad time. Yeah, he told us about that. And then he he threw a stick at them to defend your honor. (laughs) Oh, he told you that. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Did that impress you? No. (laughs) (laughs) What, trying to beat up teenagers with a stick? Oh, you are quick to violence. I think I want another date. Yeah. (laughs) I think I think he actually kind of regretted that a little bit. Like yeah. he knew that that was maybe silly that he did that, but he wasn't trying to hurt anyone. Just a reaction. Yeah, I mean it was like super weird when he did it and then like we both like baseball and his throw was really wimpy. <laughs> that was the more awkward part to be honest with you. Really? I mean, that was a little <laughs> sissy throw. I'm not gonna lie. Did he underhand it. Oh my god. <laughs> I will say, growing up playing baseball, it is kind of a manly sign if a guy can throw a baseball. Or a girl, like anybody. anybody. Like I'm, I would agree. Like watching someone who's bad at throwing a baseball throw it is maybe the most. <laughs> I mean, it's an instant turn off. Yeah. That's like right. a limp wrist, a weird elbow. All what? your respect is gone. <laughs> or like a weird grunt, like, uh. Yeah. 
<laughs> but give him a break. He was on a bicycle when he was throwing, yeah. right? It's a funny visual, though. It, it is, but is that really a reason to not call a guy back for a date? Well, no. I mean, I after we said goodbye, I was getting in my car, and I saw him jogging back to the park. So I thought that he might go beat up one of the teenagers or something. Oh, no, not Please cool. don't tell me he did yeah, that. Yeah, that what? is over the line. Did though. you follow him? Did you drive around to see? Well, I kind of found a tree, and I hid behind it. Oh, and I was fine. looking, and he did go back to the group. And I got kind of scared. But <gasps> instead of fighting with them, started vaping with them. <laughs> <laughs> Did you go out with an undercover teenager and didn't know it? What's up, bros? You got any juice? I got my jewel you... right here. Let's go. Are you joking? I'm not joking. You're joking. He wasn't no vaping. Gosh. He went with the teenagers and was like chilling with them and passing around vape, which is like super. <laughs> what? Strawberry clouds, bro. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, so wait, what do you th- yeah. What, what do you think? Like he went back to like apologize and then that turned into like a love session or? I don't know if he's like actually a really young guy and he like knew them and he just lied on the dating app. Like, oh, well, I don't know. I don't know either, Maya, but I do know one way we can find out. Okay. We can just ask him directly because I need to tell you he's been on the other line listening and he heard everything that you just said. <laughs> He's on the phone. Uh-huh. Yeah. Johnny? Hey, so you weren't supposed to see that. That's <gasps> really embarrassing. <Duh>. Uh. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I did do everything she said, but it's not what it seems like. Uh-uh. Uh, I just wanted to make sure I didn't scare them so much, so I just wanted to go apologize and, like, a peace treaty to smoke a little vape. A peace like a peace treaty? Like a pipe, but instead of vape? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Is that really what happened? Yeah, I just felt bad that they might be scared, and I didn't want that to turn into, like, a psychological issue for them oh. where they're scared of going to the park that what? old man on a tandem bike might throw a stick at them. So you didn't know My it. Maya, what do you think? I mean, okay, so, hi, Johnny. Um, <laughs> how old are you, like, legitimately? The same age on my dating app. I wouldn't lie about, like, everything is you true. You remember that, I, I will say, now that she brings it up, Johnny, you do sound kind of young. Yeah. And you brought her to a coffee shop. You guys didn't have alcohol. Uh-huh. Like, that's another indication. Are, are you 21? Do you have TikTok? <laughs> this is the real test. I am 21, and I do have TikTok. Uh-huh. I don't know. Brooke has it, too. So how old are you, Johnny? I'm 25. What year were you born? Ah, you're not going to trick me with this. Like, I don't want to feel like this guy who's lying. Like, honestly. Well, if you're 25, then you'll know what year you were born. I can't do the math. I trust him. I know. I can't do the math either. (laughs) Dang it. (laughs) He got us. It doesn't matter. Maya, where are you at with this? Do you believe him? I mean, if you're not a teenager, why are you just vaping with random teenagers (laughs) who you threw a stick at? It's not a good look for a 25-year-old, bro. Look at these clouds. They were older teens, not young teens. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think that argument has ever held up in a court of law. I just wanted to make sure they were okay. You know, I did throw a stick at them. Yeah. It didn't hit them. I didn't throw it with full force. Well, that's nice. But I wanted to go back and just, just you know, talk to them like, yo, that's not cool what you did. I don't know what to believe. Me either. I mean, it's, you... if that's true, it's kind. I mean, you've got that, right, Maya? Okay. I'm trying. Yeah. Well, I'm I mean, really trying well, here. Nice She's like, yeah, it's kind of creepy. <laughs> I mean. But if he's not lying, you guys, it is nice to be with someone who can make a mistake and then fix it or apologize for it immediately. That's a mature thing to it do. It is. It, that's true. Well, at this point, I need to ask you, Maya. Would you like to go out on a second date with Johnny? You guys can vape together on a tandem bike. (laughs) And then we'll pay for it. We'll buy you jewels. (laughs) Listen, I truly do not want to get in trouble legally, 
or whatever for dating a kid. Oh. I can't believe what I'm hearing here. This she doesn't is... believe What him. if he could prove his birth date? Yeah. I don't want him showing up with a fake ID. No, thank you. This has been <laughs> Whoa. literally Whoa. the Whoa. worst. Whoa. Like, <laughs> First of all, thank you for the youthful compliment. But no, no fake ID needed. Yeah, we're just going to have his mom come and bring his birth certificate, and then we'll show you in person that way. It'll be easy because he still lives with her. Yeah. <laughs> I'm embarrassed. So, sorry, Johnny. I guess no matter what we say, she's not going to believe your age, and that means no date. Yeah. It's all all right. Right. I, think I thought we had something. Maybe go talk to your bros. They'll make you feel better. <laughs> <in the park. laughs> yeah. We did add each other.